and welcome back if you guys missed my last video i did a video on the buzz tv x5 special edition model um as you can see it's like right down here this guy look at this thing it's like chrome i was say i was saying like when you're playing video games or whatever and you get to that prestige mode or you get to that high level mode you get this special chrome model this is it <laughs> um let me know what you guys think we are going to be covering how to set up your remote on your tv and some of these updates that you can do some of the the the, the cool stuff that you can do so yeah if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys do consider subscribing leave me a comment below let me know if you guys have tested any of this stuff um and if you guys like the like the video, hit that thumbs up. I always appreciate when you guys do that. It helps the channel a lot. So here we go. Um, you got your Buzz TV. You got the, the X5. And you want to plug this into your TV. Now, if you go to Buzz TV Smart Remote, this is it's, it's here at the bottom. If you can't find it, go to All Apps. And you should be able to find it right there at the top. So I'm kind of covering it, but you can see it right there. So I'm going to come here, Buzz TV Smart Remote couple things i love this thing because it tells you what it needs it says remote connected current ver current firmware is v07 um right when i installed this thing it says hey i need to update my 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 remote um tells me my battery battery is at 100 percent. so a lot of things here to set up so update control software if you do this it says it's checking for new firmware for your bt400 please wait now the thing with this remote too and i'll, I'll kind of show you guys here it does have a qr code to scan and you guys could um see exactly what it needs it says for learn more about your remote so it says here try again later um let me try the uh, update it says no update so if you get an error like that just click it again and you're good i have the latest firmware update now with this remote um it does have several options here. So you do have your power button. Um, you do have a option here to switch from different sources. You got pause, play, uh, reverse and back or forward, forward rewind. You, this is your buzz remote. This is for the buzz five app for the live TV stuff. There's your guide, your settings up, down, left, right. Um, your, your reverse. This is awesome. The, it has the built in mouse button, which is great. And it works super good on this remote. You have your home button, your back button, your info button, your volume up down, your channel up down. Uh, these buttons, I'm going to cover them, but you could actually sync them up to very specific apps if you want. Here's a number keypad and your page up and down. Pretty good on what this thing can do. So here we go. Um, we're going to go here, as you can see. We'll, we'll do this one first backlight if i click on it it's gonna turn on there it goes now remember when you do have the the remote light on it is going to kill the battery a little bit faster obviously because now you're using the light the backlight so just keep that in mind um if you go down here to set up color keys pretty nice let's just say you're like hey i want red to be um ida 64 i don't know i want red to be uh netflix there it is i want red to be youtube just click whatever it is that you want and that's it so let's go ahead and i'm gonna i want to say i want this one that's the one that i want um now that it's assigned to this let's just say i want to get rid of it if i click it i could choose anything else that i want um which is pretty good. Now, if I do hit that home button and if I hit that red button, it's going to open up Ida 64 again. Good stuff there. So going back to the Buzz TV thing, um, set up color keys. Again, you could set them all up however you want, which is pretty nice. The only thing is once you have it set up, I don't see a way to get rid of it. You kind of are you kind of are stuck with it. So you're going to have to just come here and just choose whatever else that you want if you don't want that one anymore. So same thing here with green. Choose whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as undefined. Um, but I wish there was a way to get rid of it. But whatever, it's, it's fine. Um, okay, pair Bluetooth remote. If you click on this, it's going to say uh, pair your Bluetooth remote. Um, it's gonna click it's gonna say click on these two buttons so i'm gonna hit the back button because i already have my remote i'm gonna cancel it but if you want to add more remotes that's how that's how you can do it so pretty easy to do now if for whatever reason the remote is not working right now it says remote disconnected just go back in there and it's gonna say click on those two buttons just click on it 
the light up here where it shows red is going to start flashing red. When it does that, let go of it. And then it says status remote's been found, connected to the buzz, and now I'm back. So if you do that, it might disconnect it, but that's how you could put it back in. Um, HDMI CEC settings. Now with this one, this one's for your TV. So allow the, the TV to control HDMI devices. Um, allow the power control H, uh, HDMI devices without CEC. So if you move your remote, it'll turn on your TV and stuff like that. So pretty cool feature to have. I like that. Um, when it comes to max volume settings, here is another one. Um, force max volume, off or on. Super simple. Okay. Auto TV setup. This is what I really like about this thing. It says the STV awaits um, is connected. Please launch. Could couldn't recognize your TV brand. Please use manual setup. Now, when you go to manual setup, um, press OK on your remote control to start the programming. Um, follow the on screen instructions i'm not going to set this up anywhere because i'm not going to set it up to this tv here um, but that's how you set up the, the remote to the tv follow those on screen instructions it's going to tell you click on this click on that one make sure you have both remotes um, that way you could test out the volume you could test out the channels you could test out the page up and down you could test out the control the the power off and on Super simple. Now, the the last thing I do want to recommend here is Buzz TV OTA. It says here, check for updates. Mine was, it's already up to date. This is where you can check it. If you're having any issues with it, that's where you can check it. So I didn't want to make this video too long on how to set this thing up. Um, wanted to give you guys something pretty simple. This X5 is just freaking a killer device. It is just so nice. But let me know what you guys think. I try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest stuff. And it's just been some great products that these guys are pushing. So let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have, I hope you guys get all set up properly. And yeah, leave me a comment below. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one.